Hello, good evening. I'm West the Explosion and Mega Man 10. There's a part of me that thinks I should have looked up the damages for these guys. Because maybe, just maybe, Sheep Man's like partially weak to the Screw Crusher or something, right? Or the Ballad Cracker. Maybe I could be cheesing this by having a weapon that I shouldn't actually have this early. Oh crap! I almost got hit by something simple. I might have been able to take another hit anyway. Maybe I don't need to panic so much. I feel like I should have died there. That that's supposed to represent. And that's just incredibly cheap. Had this not been a part of one of the challenges I did, like, earlier in the week, I would have gotten hit by that. I should probably change into... my different blues. Wow, that was the most unskilled victory I think I could have pulled off. Yeah, this is one of the sections that they have for the... Rockman Challenge, or whatever it is. The levels where they just post, you know, they paste a bunch of half levels together. And act like it's unique. And I'd just like to say one. That makes you really get tired of some of these levels. Since you're just hammering through them again and again, right? And two... My gosh. Well, I don't hate the challenges in this game, at the same time, it just reminds me, painfully so, that we almost got a Mega Man Maker game. And you cancelled it. We could have had cool stuff, not just, you know, challenge levels that are already existing levels slapped together. Oh, I kind of forgot that this is the game where it's like, okay, the economy? It's busted. Like, at this point in the last game, I would be lucky to have 100 screws, and with that, it was, what, 244? Ridiculous. Sometimes I wonder at the whole deal with this game, because it gives you, you know, easy, normal, and hard mode, if people complain too much about nine and they're like, okay, fine, we'll make it accessible for, you know, wider audiences. And then I think they might have overcorrected a little bit, but hey. I have things that I could be using to kill these guys. I don't have to take their bullshit. The Ballad Cracker. Finally, I have a reason for it. Hmm. Why not? I haven't used it this entire time. Why conserve it if I haven't, you know, thus far- Oh crap, I forgot about you. And it travels through things. It does very little damage. But I'll take what I can get, I guess. Does it take- Is this what it is? It's just a spammy weapon with low... Ammo consumption? You know what? I've decided. I need to play with these more. I like spammy weapons. Oh no! Mega Man, you went out and you bought all the sick people and now you're sick! Who could have saw this coming? Aye aye. The medicine making machine is gone, what should we do? No, Albert was supposed to be watching it. I'm sure he just misplaced it. Ooh. If they ever gave the Wily Saucer a more pleasant sound, do you think people would celebrate it, or do you think it would be called blasphemy? Because I feel like the first time anybody ever hears the Wily Saucer induces, like, some dread and panic in them. Though, so I can't dodge this. I would have needed something like, I don't know, a slide. Now, like, the whole thing here is... I could do it the way that God intended, and I have done it that way. 
but... I am so mad! I probably should have seen that coming, but I didn't. I am all the- I have to fight the stupid sub-boss again. Alright. This is fine, though. Although I just want you to know, Block Devil, I freaking hate you. Nope. And how low is this going to go? Oh, you can't really tell ahead of time. Very limited floor space. Can't really predict where they're gonna go without memorizing the entire battle. I'm just gonna say it. I will take the Yellow Devil over you, you piece of crap, any day of the week. In a lot of ways, I think this one's easier than nine, but then there's malarkey like this where it's like, be very specific on where you position yourself. Also, the adhering Susies will be running interference. That's awesome! Run into this. I don't have a lot of agency with this weapon. I kinda need you to do half of the work. Listen. We can get this over with. We can work together. But I need you to work with me here. I swear to God, if freaking Pump Man kills me. But no, no, I'm gonna push this. I think I finally understand why this is the weakness in this fight. Because I swear I just saw Albert sneeze. The whole thing is, oh yeah, he's, you know, I, I. He's creating a pandemic for robots with Roboenza. So fight him with cold so that he catches a cold. Achoo! Also, this is like one of the easiest frickin' Wileys. Yeah! I gotcha now. Whatever happened to that fun time when you were just going to kill him, huh? It was epic and everybody remembers it. As much as I hate this, this is still probably like the most clever use of the stinking seesaw platforms. Because it's just these spots where it's like, yeah, you can make it over. If you jump while it's still at, you know, its apex. Think you can manage that? <sighs> I knew not to do that. I knew not to do that, and I did it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Times like this, I just wish they were part of the... Main game, so that way I could at least have, you know, extra lives. Time attack, stage select. Special stage. This is what I couldn't figure out how to, con you know, bring up the last time I was playing. So let's beat Fake Man. Is... No! No! So cheap! I swear the entire point of this is to make sure that I use up my T-Blow before I get to the dragon. This game thinks it's so damn clever. What is going on? Really? I have to fight a submarine? Don't that seem just a little... a little excessive? I'm beginning to find Fake Man to be very lame because my gosh, no other Robot Master has ever needed this much protection. This is like the sort of thing, you know, that a weenie needs. Fake Man is a weenie! <gasps> you son of a bitch! I saw it and I thought to myself, Wow, an extra life? That's incredible! But wait a minute, this is a time attack! What in use do I have for an extra life? You don't. You don't. It's screwing with you. It's being absolute butt cheeks. Fake man! Shit.
Two, one hit. There we go. Accuse Dr. Light of being evil, will you?